Hey everybody, so I just wanted to show you guys something cool today. Uh, so I got this website from Cold Tricks on Discord, so big shout out to him or her. Uh, this website is called roic.ai and essentially what you can do here is you just type in a ticker name, gives you all the financials and you can export it in a data dump. But there is a little caveat when you export this. So uh, they're going to ask you to give them a shout out on Twitter, but you really only do this once a month and you get it for free. So just give them uh, their free marketing, whatever, and then you get the Excel data dump and you could use it basically every month and you just have to give them one shout out. So um, I already downloaded this and I'm going to go ahead and show you this information. So when we get this data from um, Excel, Excel doesn't really like the data in this format, so we kind of got to reformat it. So I'm going to show you how we go about that. So Control Shift right, and I'm going to copy this data. All right here, I'm just going to give us a little title years. Oops, I don't think I actually copied that down. Let's try that again. And when I paste it, I'm going to do this little thing called transpose. Now what that's going to do is it's going to go horizontal to vertical. And then uh, let's do let's do revenue. Net income. Let's do net profit margin. And shares outstanding. Right. So we're going to do this exact same thing. I grab net income. And net margin, I'm going to show you how to calculate this. They give it to us here, but I think it's important that you know how to calculate it. So it is just equals net income divided by revenue. And shares outstanding. We're going to find this right here. Let's just use diluted. So we got all our data now. Now we're just going to turn this into a pivot table. And in this pivot table, uh, let's put years in the filter. Let's put years in the row. Let's put revenue and values. Net income and values. Net margin. Shares outstanding also in values. Alrighty, let's just make this data look a little bit better.
let's see. Are the grand totals? Okay, so now we can make some sort of visualization here. So we can make a pivot chart. If I remember how to do this. Yeah, insert. Insert pivot chart. Now I want to visualize this data with a line chart. I'm going to show uh, net margins. So I'm just going to get rid of everything else. So remove that field. Remove that field. What does this data tell us? So I want to explain what net margin is. So if we have a three cent net margin here, what this means is that for every one dollar of sales, we are retaining three cents of that dollar. So here we could see on Apple that back in 1985, we were retaining three cents. We went negative, went all the way up to 27, so 27 cents per one dollar of revenue. You know, now we're going back to that 27 cent area and we're at 26 cents. So this is a really good visualization and it really helps you uh, kind of make a decision on buying a company. So you wouldn't want to just use this one metric, but this is a very good metric to look at because it just shows their profitability and um, how much of this they're able to retain. Because a lot of companies these days, you know, they'll be selling stuff, but they won't be making any money. But here you can see clearly that Apple wasn't making money for a while. This clearly turned around, you know, they had a pretty bad year and then they really turned things around. So that's one visualization. Now we can make another one here. So I'm going to go back, look at this pivot chart. And um, we could add some more stuff. Get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of net margins and I'm just going to look at shares outstanding. Let's just format this again real quick. Okay, so let's just look for trends here. So we see shares outstanding, increasing, increasing, increasing. It's all the way up to 26.469. And then it starts decreasing as you can see here. So now what I'm gonna wanna do is, I wanna just focus on um, when they start their shares outstanding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put years on filter as well. And that was 2012. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select everything 2012 and after that. And I'm going to put years back in row. And now I want to create uh, some sort of visualization off this. So we're going to go to insert. And we're going to go to um, line chart. I guess we could show this in a bar chart as well. Yeah, let's do that. Getting a key point. 
here, let me show you exactly what I wanted to show you. So uh, we're going to get another instance of shares outstanding. And we're going to put it right here. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to right click. You're going to do show values as. We're going to do percent difference from. Now, we're going to look at 2012 as our base here because this is when they really started buying back shares. Before that, you know, they were buying back, they were diluting, they were doing all of this stuff. But overall, the shares were not decreasing. But since 2012, that's when they really started buying it back. So that's why we're using 2012 as our base year. Now we're going to click OK. And we see this as a percentage. So basically in 2013, it's saying they bought back 1.45% of their shares from 2012. And then in 2014, comparing to 2012, they bought back 7.48% of their shares and so on and so forth. Now here in 2021, it says that they bought back 36.29% of their shares in comparison to this base year of 20, um, 2012. So now we can make our visualization. just do a um, bar chart. Now I'm going to get rid of this uh, first instance. Now you can see this very clear visualization of the rate at which Apple is buying back their shares. So here we can see um, they're constantly buying it back at larger and larger rates here. So here all the way to 2021 like we see right here, they bought back 36.29% of their shares if we're looking at 2012 as the base year. So um, these are just a few examples of what you can do. You know, there's so much more you can do with this data, but this is just two examples. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.